Welcome to our 12 Days of Christmas nail art series featuring me, Talia, from Talia's Nail Tales. And me, from Sarah's Nail Secrets. We had so much fun doing this series last year that we're doing it again with 12 new themes. Be sure to check the description box below for links to last year's videos. Let's get started. So to start this out, I thought I would include some of the removal process of her last set. So she did just have a plain black gel polish in this because this video was filmed actually way back in November. So she, I was removing her Halloween design. So I'm just taking a coarse carbide and I'm just debulking the nail and taking down that gel polish that was on top. Then I'm coming in and I'm pushing back the skin. Um, this is sped up, so obviously I am not aggressive when I'm working on clients. Uh, but I just push back the skin and scrape the cuticle area. And then I'm coming in with a 180 grit hand file and I'm fixing up the shape. Then I'm just coming in and removing that cuticle off the nail plate. And I'm gonna file all these nails down so they're nice and thin, finish all my prep, apply my dehydrator and primer, and then let's get into the application. So here I'm coming in with just a fine loose glitter and I've mixed it with clear acrylic. I'm only putting this down so that I can get a nice cuticle bead because I am using a chunky glitter on top. So you're just gonna place this down and then you're gonna wanna move your brush around so you can mix that clear acrylic with the loose glitter. And then I'm just trying to get it nice and even just around the cuticle area. Like I said, this color doesn't really matter. That's why I didn't really say what it is. It's Glitter Heaven Australia's Hollow Glitter. And then I'm coming in with Glam and Glitz Adore. So this is kind of a rose gold color. It's gold and pink mixed together. And I'm applying this next, but I end up covering this up. So you guys will see that in a second. So I wanted to do a three glitter fade, but I realized that I should do chunky, chunky, then solid. That's why I just end up covering this up because I'm doing a chunkier glitter at the top, then a medium chunky in the center, and then this one will actually be at the tip in a second. So here I'm using Glitter Heaven Australia's Burnt Pink. And I, again, picked up a clear bead of acrylic, dipped it into that pot, and then just picked up a little bit of that chunky glitter. And now I'm placing that on top of that loose glitter I placed down first. The next glitter is from Glitter Heaven Australia as well called Pink Champagne. This is one of my most used favorite glitters ever. And this is the one I'm putting over top of that Adore to cover that up. And then I'm gonna put Adore at the bottom. So then I'm just gonna take my brush and it's nice and wet. And I'm just gonna try to pull the glitters into each other to try to make them blend a little bit better to give it more of that glitter ombre fade. I did this design on her pointer and her pinky finger. So while it's drying on one finger, I went back to the other finger and vice versa. So here I'm just coming in, it's dried a little bit and I'm able to pull some of that darker pink down onto the lighter champagne color and so on in order to make it look like a really nice fade. Then I'm just patting it down really nice so it's nice and smooth and even and flat. So now I'm gonna be encapsulating this nail now that it's dry, and I'm using my Glam and Glitz Back to Basics Clear Acrylic. And I'm just placing a bead near the cuticle area, and then I'm using my brush to push it up towards that cuticle. And then I'm going to smooth this down, pull it and pat it until I get a full coverage and create an apex. So I only need to encapsulate those two nails that I did, and then the other three nails I'm gonna be doing a gel polish. So I am just doing a built nail with clear acrylic on the, the other nails. So I did finish file off camera and then cleanse the nails. And then for the gel polish, I'm using 94 from Ugly Duckling. It's this super beautiful, I don't even know what to call this color, but kind of like a raspberry pink. And I'm just gonna be applying this on the three nails that didn't have anything on them. And I love the brush for the Ugly Duckling. It's nice and big and flared out. So you can really get a nice cuticle swipe with just one swipe. 
So you're just going to want to do one really thin coat and then you're going to want to cure it and then you're going to want to come in and do a second coat. Before doing my sweater pattern, I'm coming in with Kira Sky's matte top coat on the ring finger and the thumb because I'm going to be doing this on top of that and I want it to be matte underneath. And then I'm using the Kira Sky no wipe top coat on the shiny nails which is the pinky, the middle, and the pointer finger. I wanted my sweater nail to have a little bit of something extra to it so I'm just drawing some gold pattern at the top near the cuticle area using the Light Elegance Metallic Gold Buttercream and the brush I'm using here is my favorite brush it's my Egoista brand art brush and I'm using that for the entire design. Once I got my gold design down and I'm happy I'm just sprinkling some of that Adore color on top and you're gonna to wanna to cure that before doing the next step. So the next step is to draw your sweater pattern. So I'm just kinda of doing, you can see, like a weird L-shaped pattern. And I'm not gonna be sprinkling clear acrylic on this. This is just to get my design. And then I'm doing stripes on the side. I had her cure that, and that way you don't make any mistakes before finishing the lines on the other side. So you wanna flash cure as much as possible. And that way you can wipe off any mistakes you make without wiping off your entire pattern. So now I'm just gonna build up these colors so that you get that kind of sweater texture. So I'm gonna be just redoing that over top and I'm using the same Ugly Duckling color so that it kind of looks like a raised pattern. And then you're gonna sprinkle clear acrylic on this wet gel before curing. You're gonna let it soak in a little bit before curing. So really sprinkle that on, make sure it's soaked in, then give it a cure. Then you can wipe that off and you can do the patterns on the side. So I did this overall just on her ring fingers and her thumb. So I just went back and forth between both fingers and both hands. And that way you don't make any mistakes or anything. So I'm just sprinkling that clear acrylic on. And then again, going to cure that before repeating that process on the other side. And it's super simple. So you could do this in so many different ways. I've seen it done with just sugar. I've seen it done using different colors. Just experiment until you find something that really works for you and something that you really like. So I give that full cure and here is the finished design. I added some crystals on the pointer finger just to tie that rose gold in. And I really love this set. I love the length. I love everything about them. They're just so pretty. So don't forget to check out what Talia did. She did this really pretty monochromatic design with crystal pixie sweaters so i can't wait to watch her design and make sure to check back tomorrow because tomorrow is snow angels so i'll see you guys tomorrow and thanks for watching bye